Well, hey guys, welcome back to my shop. My name is Dima. So if you haven't seen my shop tour, uh, my garage space really serves two purposes. It's half of it is my shop space and the other half is my garage space. Now, I purchased some new tools. Uh, I've got a new planer and I've got a CNC coming that I really don't have the space to put in there. So I've decided to rearrange my shop space to flow a little bit better and to utilize the space much better than I do now. So let's get the camera out of the sun and get it inside so I can show you what I've got going on. So right now I'm, I'm standing in the area where my car is usually parked. Now mainly the car is only in the garage in the winter time when it snows and it's too cold uh, for my wife to keep her car outside even though it has a remote starter and my car doesn't that stays outside permanently. Um, it usually stays in here and in the winter time, I can't really have anything in this area like rolling tools out or having my uh, workbench up. So everything is folded down, everything is put away. So the way you see everything behind me is usually how I have it. Now this planer is new, so it's not usually here. I, I had to wheel it out of the way so I could park the car in here to show you. So um, pretty much the layout of my shop is pretty simple. I've got my workbench here. Uh, my planer is back there, or should say my joiner is back there. Planer, I've got the lumber rack, I've got the dust collection right there in the corner, my table saw right there, band saw. Um, pretty much everything fits here, but it's not really, it's not really organized very well, and I don't think it's using the space very well, so I think it could be better. So what I actually ended up doing is I designed every single one of my power tools and my work surface including my garage space, completely in SolidWorks 3D. So I measured out all the tools and I got the models to pretty much as close as what they actually represent um, as far as the base, the amount of space that it takes up and the height. So here I've got the model on my screen here. As you can see, the red is for the car and the yellow is for where the doors are gonna open. So. What we're gonna do is, um, as you can see, I've got all my tools pretty much laid out here. So I'm gonna hide half of the garage space here. Pretty much this is where my car is gonna be. So it can't, pretty much this is the only space I could move everything around and I could see some yellow there. So I just can't post anything there. So. I've already started moving stuff around and I'm just gonna demonstrate of what I could actually do. I could take the work, the table saw here and I could flip it in any way that I want. You know, and then move it around as I please. Now, I thought about how I wanted this uh, table saw to sit. Um, this was one option kind of parallel to the door uh, But then if I want to cut long stock, I have to have the door open and if it's winter time I really don't want to deal with that. So I decided not to do that. So I figured this position Which is perpendicular to the door Being the best so I've got plenty of room here. Of course if the car is not there, so um, this is where the, where I'm showing my table saw right now is where my workbench used to sit. So I ended up moving everything here. So um, I've got light, my lathe on this table right here. I've got my or, uh, oscillating spindle sender right there. And as you can see, my CNC fits nicely in that corner uh, right there where I have all my lumber stacked right here. So I kind of have my lumber sitting in the corner here next to my bandsaw. So I figured this would be a good spot for my workbench to be kind of next to my little area there. And once again, I have a yellow spot right there showing me that this is where those drawers for all my pen stuff is gonna be opening up. So I couldn't really have anything close to there, but even if I could, that CNC won't let me. So this is where my workbench is gonna sit and this is where the assembly table will fold out. And I think I'll have it probably folded out permanently so I could store stuff underneath. But if I do have to get access to the CNC or if I need more floor space to work on a larger project, 
can always hide that table. Now I've got plenty of workspace right there. Now I know a lot of you are gonna ask why I didn't use SketchUp because it's supposedly so much easier. Well, SolidWorks is what I use at work. I'm a design engineer at my day job and I'm really comfortable and I know how to use it so I can quickly model up everything. I've never used SketchUp and I have no intention of learning another software to use uh, when I can use an advanced software such as SolidWorks. So I think I'm gonna start off by moving everything away from this area into where the par cars park and then slowly moving everything into the spots that they're gonna be sitting in. Well, the reorganization of my shop is pretty much done and I'm really happy of how it turned out. So let's move the camera so I can start from the far right and kind of go left and show you how I rearranged everything. So if you watched any of my previous videos, you remember that my assembly table and my workbench used to be right here. And the assembly table that's attached to my workbench uh, would fold out there and it pretty much disabled my garage space from being used to park my car in there. So. Um, I kind of didn't like that, although having the assembly table fold down was a really neat feature. Um, it wasn't working for me, so I decided to move everything. So kind of in this corner close to my garage door, this is where my work table and my workbench used to be. Um, I pretty much have my wood processing area. So I've got my table saw here, uh, my router table right here. I've got plenty of room to work around the router table which before it was kind of crowded and I didn't really have much room to work around there so now I have plenty of room to work all the way around the table saw and I even have a little mini workbench here that uh, I built uh, a few months ago and I've got a video on this if you're interested it pretty much replaced the wing that came with the saw with a kind of a micro rubo style laminated workbench with a vise um, and I actually I think I might actually move this vise somewhere else so Got my lumbar rack storage still back here. I left my joiner right here because I figure, you know, the wood will come off the lumbar rack. Um, I'll either use the table saw or the joiner. So once I get out the joiner and the table saw, the next thing is gonna be is to use the planer. Now, I think the layout of my joiner, my table saw, my planer is really, really great for me because I don't have to move anything around. As of right now, nothing is on wheels. Well. Uh, the planer comes with the mobile base. If I need to move it, if I need to cut longer stock on my table saw, I'll have to move the planer, but that's really simple. Um, it's got a mobile base that will move very easy. Now I still have this large open area in front of my table saw, which is kind of great because if I'm working on a large project, I can always use this area to work there. Um, the only drawback is I'll have a dust collection hose running on the floor here. so. I'll have to figure something out. Either I'm gonna connect it and disconnect it when I don't use it, or just leave it and know that it's there so I don't trip over it. This also leaves a lot of room for an outfeed table, which I didn't have on this table saw that I've always wanted. So I think there will be a project video on the outfeed table, so that's gonna be a good one. 
and I'm gonna start designing that pretty soon. So moving down further on the half of my garage space for my shop space, I've got my workbench. Now this workbench, if you remember, used to be sitting next to the garage door. And I think this spot will actually be very good because I've got more room to kind of work in here. Even with the car parked in here, I've got plenty of room to maneuver around it. I've got probably three feet between the fender of the car and the edge of the workbench. That's gonna be really great. I'm actually looking very forward to it. Um, I've got space at the bottom here. I could store stuff. Uh, it's easily accessible. Um, and another project that I'm gonna work on is the leg vise on my workbench. Um, I haven't had a leg vise uh, for the longest time. I've been just clamping it to the side of my workbench when I do dovetails and it's really hard to do that. So I've decided that I'm gonna go ahead and design a very cheap leg vise and I think I'm gonna do a video on it. I'm not sure yet. I think I might just wanna build it to get it over with and that's that. So here I moved my oscillating spindle sander um, to kind of this bench where my lathe sits. Um, I used to have it kind of on its own little table kind of behind me there and it really took up a lot of space and I figured this is probably going to be the best thing to do. Now if I want to put an extension on my lathe I can always take the spindle sander off, put my extension on, turn whatever I need in the lathe and you know take everything off put the spindle sander back in. So I think this is really great. This open space right here is where my X-Carve CNC will be from Adventables. Um, I ordered it five weeks ago and I'm kind of hoping it's gonna ship out this week so I can start assembling it next week. I'm really excited about it. It's coming so it'll be sitting right here. Uh, pretty much, I ordered the thousand millimeter one so it's gonna pretty much take off the whole space here. And then further down, I'm still gonna have kind of my uh, lumber storage kind of here, stuff that doesn't fit on my lumber rack or it's just short stuff. Still gonna store it back here. Still got my bandsaw here, which is probably the best spot for it because the dust collection is right over there. And I've got plenty of room to work around the area, especially for my assembly table. I've got plenty of space to move around it if I need to go to my bandsaw. I've got plenty of room. I mean, so I'm really excited of how everything moved around. Well, I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you get any additional questions or suggestions for my shop, feel free to do so in the comments area. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Maybe not because the content is great. Maybe because I'm cute. I don't know. For whatever reason, I encourage you to subscribe. You probably won't be disappointed. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. <laughs> Anyways, have fun in the shop, but be safe doing it. See you guys next time.